And here we got a little surprise box. Ready? One, two, three. All right, once again, guys, here we are. Um, I do not have my trailer again, because that's gonna be a, another quick night. But I do like these two pieces here. And I'm not giving myself very much space for anything else, so. We'll see how the night goes. First Christmas. And a little book and these are good drawers but I just can't pick that up on myself and I can't fit it in there so um let's see how it goes well didn't realize that the bags are right over here all right so we got a bunch of toys in here might do a load up a one house kind of deal. Bunch of toys in there. Let's see. Bowel curtain. Maybe toys in here too. Picture frame and stuff in here. but it's cracked. house last week again and had a bunch of stuff out but looks like maybe someone already someone might have already gone through this stuff yeah it looks like it TV got some headboard and footboards but
here. Man, this looked a lot more hopeful when I first drove by, I'm not gonna lie. This looks, looks rather sad. Starter, but I don't know if it's new or used. Oh man, I don't know. A used starter is not going to do me any good. digging in there. Nothing. And the Balenciaga bag. That's about it. All right, we are here at the storage unit. It's the next, about two days later, and we're gonna get the stuff. Uh, we'll show you the stuff that I found, and uh, the bags I'm gonna take home and go through them at home because I got a lot more shade over there than I do out here, and. I don't know it looks like there's the shade started hitting this way so i might stay here and do it might be lying to y'all but i did want to show you some stuff uh, my neighbor called me uh last night and uh see if i wanted some stuff he was getting rid of so i said yeah sure i went to his house and picked some stuff up so here is the stuff that i got we got this nice coffee table we got a bunch of like two sets of chairs we got these real nice chairs here got some stools back there and some other uh, chairs back over there along with some uh real estate signs that iris said she could probably use so I'm gonna take the stuff out. I'm gonna let y'all see it uh, once it's down over here on the ground to get a better look at it. But it was real cool for him to call me. So Jeff, thank you so much for calling me and let me know that you had some stuff. Uh, I do appreciate it. it. Saves it from going to the dump. He had some other stuff that I wasn't able to take, unfortunately, but I've got my feelers up for some people to see if they want it. If not, uh, we'll figure out what we do with it. But for now, this is the stuff that I'm gonna take home with me. We'll take here to the storage unit list and get this uh, going, see if we can get a little bit of money for it. All right, but on to the good stuff. What you're here for is to open up this storage unit to see what we found the other night. Real quick, here is the furniture that my neighbor gave me. It's real nice. Uh, granite or marble top coffee table. This sucker's really heavy. Um, iron, hardware, legs, body, whatever. Really nice. Got the two kind of like a high bar height uh, chairs these are kind of rustic looking more farmhouse style um, two chairs then you got like these spindle back chairs right here I think that's what they're called more vintage slash antique with the concaved seats there so not bad um, they all need work except for that guy that, that one I can sell as is but all these are going to be project pieces, so I don't see myself really asking too much for these. I'm thinking maybe 20 bucks for that set, 20 bucks for this set, and I'll see if I get $20 for this set. But honestly, if I got anything over $10 as an offer for each one of these sets, I would sell them. All right, so I'll do the walkthrough of all this stuff uh, here in the storage unit. It's actually nice and breezy, and uh, I got plenty of shade. So we'll start off with the bigger stuff. Of course you remember everything here really was from one house so sometimes it's like that you know i drove around for about 45 minutes to an hour max and uh for about an hour's worth 
let's just round it up of, of work just like last week we didn't do too bad uh got this really nice uh shelves here they're from ikea i'm pretty sure um contemplating keeping these not sure yet i need to do some work upstairs in my office slash uh kind of uh, inventory room I might I might be able to use these I'm not sure yet this guy right here is kind of nice glass slides back slides back like that and like that here the only thing is that the they don't slide back so easily so that's gonna be something that I don't know maybe I'll get 10 bucks for this guy it does close off nice and easy it's just yeah so not too bad someone can use it for storage i uh, got this balenciaga box uh, people do buy these boxes it has the wrapping paper looks like it has um the little bag that whatever this was shoes or whatever and then you got the little inserts uh, i really don't know what these are for but anyways that's that some people do buy these um i got i know a lady who sells these at her boutique shop so i'll see if she wants to buy these from me uh and lastly as far as the bigger items that are loose you got these two uh trays ikea pretty self-explanatory there so we'll get these sold as well all right i'm gonna take these bags out I'll probably set them up right there and just do it while i'm sitting down so let's get to it let's see we'll just grab a bag and see what we got in here and pull up a chair Hopefully these chairs are sturdy enough for me to sit in <laughs> and now let me set this up real quick all right can y'all see that yeah it looks pretty good i'll just grab one bag i'm not sure which one it is so we got i don't know what that is oh this has like pantry in a bucket that's what that is so let's see what all is in here if there's anything we're salvaging this guy's got his ear torn off you got some Mickey Mouse hands. We're going to be going to Disney, guys, and next week. Yeah, so by the time you guys are watching this... No, so when you guys are watching this, it'll be another week before I go to Disneyland. But we'll be in Disney. We're going to LA. We'll spend some time in Disney. We'll spend some time in Hollywood, Universal Studios area. So if you're in that area... Um, that's where I'll be, you know, go out and see if you might be able to find me and the family over there. Uh, we'll be over there for, for about a week or so, uh, enjoying some sightseeing, some, some thrill rides, I guess you could say, and just, uh, spending time away from home, just relaxing. So I'll take some videos while I'm over there, kind of post it on, uh, on the channel. Might take some pictures and put on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, um, I guess I'll put, I get, I think the links are in the description. If not, I'll put it right here so you can just look at it. And uh, I'll probably be posting pictures on Instagram if you want to see our Disney slash Hollywood slash California adventure. All right, so let's keep on moving. And uh, these gloves is what made me think of that. I don't think we'll be using these. Uh, they're there for kids. And of course, my kids are, are older. They, I don't think they'll fit into those things. But got a little neck support thing with a little emoji faces. Uh, that guy had his ear torn off. Let's see. This is all little kid stuff, man. I'm not. I don't imagine finding anything really, really good in here. But you never know. Well, was it a pineapple? Little purse. Most of the stuff is likely gonna just get donated. I don't see myself keeping hardly anything from in here. But we're gonna go through it. We're gonna go through it. Yeah. See, this is a little. I'm gonna put them in little pans and pinch stuff in this little bucket. Yeah, see, look. This has a tag on it still. 
like a little panda hat. Yeah. Brand new, never worn. Yeah. This is all like poly pocket stuff, I think. So this I might be able to sell. All right, let me go do the stuff. Okay, so some of the stuff that I found so far in that first bag was a bunch of little Hot Wheels. As you can see, um, I know there's another bag that has some toys in it, so we'll see what all we find together. Uh, I got these little figurines here. This little thing, only, only reason I'm gonna keep this, and I'm gonna see if Iris wants to try to put it on Mercari, is that it says it's Starbucks. So it's little California with a bear. Neat little design. It's like a little coin purse, but at the same time, it has like a little keychain, so like a little keyring on there. So I don't know if you can hook keys to it to keep inside, or if you can hang this by your keychain. Uh, also notable was this little, I think these are Polly Pockets, I don't remember. Little small little figurines. There's a bunch of little baby ones over here. Uh, a little slide. And then this guy that goes with it. They're all the, it's like Hatchables. That's what they're called, Hatchables. Uh, also notable was this guy here. From one wall thing to another. Aeropostal, Aer Aeropostal, whatever that is. Um, pretty neat. It's like a little hat to keep you warm, but it's got this guy on it. I think it's a sloth. Yeah, the sloth. And then this one here is the panda. It has a tag on it. I don't know if that's original from the store or this from the boutique, but I'm going to see if I can sell those. And then the rest of the stuff, I'm just going to donate. All the stuff over here, I'm going to donate. All right, guys, here is the next bag. Opened it up. Up the top, got some little baskets, a little chibi ring, not even worth showing really, it's a little chibi ring, but I'm going to look through all these, make sure that there's not a good ring in here, and these baskets are kind of dingy, I don't know if they'll be able to sell or not. Wait, let's look at the bottom of all these little baskets. Make sure it didn't leave any nice surprises for me down here. Nope. So, yeah, see, they're real dirty. These might not make the cut, to be honest with you. What else is in here? Oh, yeah, this one had the basketball toys. All right. So, here we go. Looks like this is G.I. Joe-ish. Might not be G.I. Joe. There's no markings on this at all. Um, so I'll have to look through that one. You do have a bumblebee missing the leg. We'll see if we can't find the leg. Little T-Rex. That might be something to keep to the side. A little plush animal. Oh, look at that. It's Bigfoot. <laughs> That's kind of cute. Bigfoot, but it's uh, like a Santa Claus. That's kind of cute. I don't know why I like him, but I do. All right, let's see what we got over here. We got some crocodiles. That would be something we keep to the side. People like to buy those animals. For their kids so here's the leg for the bumblebee so he's good to go here's another superhero got this guy there got an optimus prime here looks to be complete yeah so we'll put him right here next to bumblebee got this guy here this is another transformer I don't know who that is. We'll keep him over here to the side. And these are all newer Transformers, guys. These aren't the old ones. Oh, look at that. That's from that movie. What's it called? That's kind of cool. I'm going to keep him. Oh, dang it. Look at that, man. Someone got a hold of his foot. Real bad. Oh, well. We'll just put that in. This is going to be my donation bag right here. Be my donation bag there. We got this trailer truck trailer I don't want to miss that oh 
man. Here's that kid's guitar. Maybe I'll hold on to that. Sometimes these uh, little accessories sell for money online. Uh, Captain America. He looks like he rides on something. Is this for you, Captain America? Yep. Yeah. It's got to be for you. But unfortunately, someone chewed off the handles. Boy. This was definitely a rough kid with his toys. Salvador, a little, little game he tried to get that guy in there. How to Train a Dragon. You got Woody. I don't know who that guy is. A little turtle. A little wrestler. Another Woody. I think all these guys here I'm just going to donate. Alright, next bag. Okay, this bag looks like it might have some better stuff in it. Let's see. Keep it down right there so I can see this right here. So. The horse, the animals I'm going to keep. The dinosaurs. We got Mickey Mouse. The Hot Wheels, I'll keep, oh look at that, I like, I like Nintendo stuff, so I'll end up keeping that for me, a little Luigi, hopefully there's some more in there, because I do like the Nintendo stuff for me, some of these are still good, man, you got this little Ernie, how old is he, 2010, he's not incredibly old, this little doll, that's a wrestler, I don't know who he is though, that's definitely Hot Wheels, All right, so I ended up keeping uh, quite a bit more than I expected. Um, to be honest with you, I didn't think I was gonna get this much, but there's a lot of these little Marvel, I'm sorry, DC characters, like this is Man Bat, not to be confused with Batman, but Superman, Green Lantern, Scarecrow, Catwoman, Penguin, Joker. Uh, you got this character here, there's the Ninja Turtles, this uh, Splinter and Shredder. You got some Lego figures, you got some wrestlers, Star Wars stuff, Disney stuff, the little animals. These were made in Germany, so I need to look into those, see what they're about. What do we got in here? We got some dolls. Oh, look at these guys. Who are these? Are they brats? I don't know, but I'm going to hold on to these. These might be brats. You got that little girl right there. The big big eyes um there's another one in here she has no clothes on um boy the shape that they give these little dolls huh all right you got that little doll there you got another one she has no pants look at that all right Got a little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. Um, oh, here's another one. She's missing a hand. I'm gonna give a girl a hand. Let's see. Well, I guess I could still sell this one here, even though she's missing a hand, because I think these just pop right in and out. So I'm gonna put it over here. Maybe uh, her hand will show up here. All right. I'm going to put this stuff up and get to the next bag. This should be a faster bag because I think there's only like wall decor and frames and stuff like that in here. So there won't be a lot to go through. Okay. We got these guys. What is this? It's a circuit. What could be in here? Open this up. What do we have? Oh, wow. So, 
apparently this is some kind of gaming system and here's a bunch of games you got spongebob squarepants mickey font my community disney you got a bunch of i guess packs that go with it wow i've never seen these before all right kind of glad i found that and there's another one in there okay Let's see what this one is wow more so hello kitty font superman i don't know what this is guys what could this be and i can't let's just take one of these out okay i have no idea what this is all right i'm about to do some research so i thought it was a game apparently this is this is probably some kind of crafting thing so i'm starting to think because this looks like it goes in the keyboard so i'm about to look and do some research what is this called circuit no cricket 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 that's what it's called i'm miss miss saying it cricket like a cricket but cut so it's got to be some kind of designing tool of sorts all right so here you got this guy uh, doesn't have any backing doesn't have any glass like it will just be trash and here we got a little surprise box ready one two three all right no big deal here guys we got a bunch of crafting stuff um i'll hold on to this and try to find someone that can use it um, to donate it i know a lot of people that take the stuff for donations they help out elderly elderly people they help out kids so we'll hold on to that craftwood i'll go ahead and donate that as well i gotta do that local because that's kind of big let's see this is for cutting paper yeah so it's like a little thing to cut paper more crafting stuff again we'll donate that yeah looks like the rest of this stuff is basura trash oh hold on one more we've got some instant fabric color gold shimmer all right we'll keep that as well put in the donation pile here adele you got a CD in there. Yeah. We'll put that in the donation pile. Alright. So. This here. Cricket. You know what? I'm going to look these up while I'm with you here online. On the phone. So we kind of get an idea. Of what this stuff is. Um. So what are these called press supplies so this stuff's expensive whatever it is presses i'm gonna have to find out what the heck these things are called in order to properly price them because they're all over the place just the supplies by themselves and extras are pretty expensive i'm not really seeing what you know what these are uh let me do a google lens search real quick that's always helpful cricket organizer and cartridges okay cricket organizer and cartridges so let's look at that so here's one that's pre-owned that's a hundred dollars got 10 watchers on it let's see if it has the stuff that i have in mind see it's not even complete it's got one two three four five six seven eight nine and some of those mine has a lot more stuff so 
let's filter these out see what's sold if anything look at that Provo Cricut Express okay well this is with the cutting machine and the cartridges sold for a hundred dollars plus forty dollars shipping here's a bunch of cartridges ten to fifty dollars here's some more of these little things fifty bucks so I think I got a good score here I think I'll be able to sell both of these I'll probably try to get both of these listed together online um, and I'm thinking maybe putting just for fun 200 bucks and I'll accept an offer all right guys so wow that's uh that was better than I expected and again to do this in 30 no I'm saying with 45 minutes to an hour was not too bad we got a bunch of toys I'll get all these put together these little dolls the hair stuff these little hatchables this is gonna be all donated to uh, someone who does crafting this is all going to forgotten angels there's a bunch of toys plushes cold clothes baskets that are still good and then those two things and of course you got the pieces of furniture right over there so guys i'm gonna say that was a pretty good night um for an hour's drive you know you just never know um i'm trying to get these videos out to you guys i know you guys tell me i'll take your time <laughs> youtube doesn't feel the same way if i don't put these videos out they don't push my videos out so i got to get them out every week or else um you know big bad youtube starts to punish your your pal here the texan picker so i got to get these channels these uh these videos out what was your favorite find of the night let me know in the comments what you think was the best thing that i found um i'm gonna say probably the most valuable one is obviously those circuit organizer and uh, cartridges uh very unique i've never seen those before i'll get those listed probably on ebay see what i can get from maybe i'll try to sell them local uh not sure yet but uh, we're definitely gonna go put those online um also all the toys I'm probably going to bunch all the toys up together that are, you know, similars and just get them listed all for fairly cheap, you know. Someone can get them for their kid, just, you know, real cheap, you know, not, not, nothing expensive. I'm not going to get rich off of these little toys. But instead of putting them in the bag to go to Forgotten Angels, and uh, they sell stuff by the pound there, um, the toys, some of these loose toys. So yeah, I see people just making a mess over there with these. I'm, I'm, you know, I'll tell you what, next time I get a chance, I'm going to go to Forgotten Angels. I'm going to do a tour there so you guys can see uh, the stuff that I donated. There. You'll actually see some, some stuff that I've donated there still at the, at the thrift store. So I'll do that next time I get a chance. But for now, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, real quick drive. I took a little bit longer than I expected doing the reveal i guess you could say the thrift hall the hall of all the stuff that we found um because it was more here than i thought there was it didn't seem like there would be this much stuff but nonetheless uh saved a lot of good stuff from being trash forever some of the stuff is going to get sold for real cheap to someone who can just use it for a daycare some of the stuff is going to get donated and then a few things i'm going to list for a little bit more like those cartridge things and i'm not sure about that furniture yet i haven't decided i'll, I'll let you know with that, we'll close it out today with a prayer. Father, I just want to thank you, Lord, for your, just your blessings. I just want to thank you for your, for your, just your merciful love, for your kindness, for your peace, Father, that you can instill in our lives, Lord. Uh, I pray those who are watching that if they don't know that peace, if they don't know that love, if they don't know that forgiveness that you offer, Lord, that they would seek a relationship with you, Father, that they would be able to know these things, that they would, they would drop what they're doing right now father as they hear my voice is that they would reach out to you they lift up their hands to you father and they would say father just take ownership of my life father uh forgive me of my sins make me make me a child of god father and, and i make you love my lord and savior that they would reach out to you father and that they would just say that prayer just a quick prayer and just just give their lives to you that they repent of their sins father and that they focus on living a better life a life that you dictate and that you guide us through your holy bible father i just want to thank you lord for my for my health father for my marriage for blessing my marriage for continuing to bless my family our kids that you'd watch over them father in their schools even though they're in the summer right now father that all these kids that are out there right now that you just protect them 
uh, be with them, Father, that you would guide them and that you would uh, draw them to be want to be near you. Uh, Father, I just want to thank you so much for my subscribers, for the viewers, for people who watch my channel, that you would continue to bless those people, Father, that you would strip any kind of pain, any kind of sadness, any kind of depression from their hearts, from their mind, Father, and that you replace it with, again, Lord, with that with an amazing peace, with an amazing love, and that hope that you give. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. All right, guys, thank you again so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be in California, like I said, next week. Um, maybe I'll try to do a garage sale over there, a video over there. I'm not sure if I get a chance to. Uh, we'll be doing a lot of, uh, you know, your, your typical sightseeing stuff, tourist stuff, even though I've been to California many times. My wife and kids have only been once. So we're going to spend a lot of time in L.A. and Hollywood area. Maybe go check out some vineyards in the area, too. And uh, hopefully make a drive down to the beach to get some really good pictures. Just kind of just relax and get away from the everyday hustle bustle. Uh, that is a life, I guess you could say. So, that being said, till next time, peace, love you, and God bless. See ya.